move us to the Louisville Cardinals. And let's go ahead and see what Scott Satterfield has got cooking up here. Uh, went four and seven last year. That's definitely not good. Uh, eight and five the year before that. So his first season was good. Next season, not great. FPI's got him going six and six. SP Plus got him going seven and five. The win total sits right in the middle. Let's split the difference. Six and a half to go over is minus 115. To go under, juiced the same. Minus 115. Uh, Louisville's issues last year were were all, like, close. Like, all the games were close. Turnover luck was awful. Uh, you know, this could be a bounce back year, but... After all the stuff that happened, like, does the team still trust Satterfield? Like, who knows? Malik Cunningham is back, but they lost all of their stud wide receivers and, and the running back, uh, Hawkins. The entire offensive line is back, uh, but they got all new skill talent that is incredibly inexperienced. Defense was the most efficient that the Cardinals have had since 2017, but they still rank, like, number 75 in the country in efficiency. Uh, the new defensive coordinator, Brian Brown, who is Satterfield's App State defensive coordinator, like, he doesn't have a whole lot to work with here, and he's a culture guy. Like, you got to build it with him. So I think it's going to take a minute to get there. And the schedule, like, ain't easy. You know, six and a half, like, do they have playmakers where they could absolutely explode in a couple of these games? Yes. I also think that they are going to make a lot of mistakes still. And, and it's that trust thing with the locker room. I'm going to go under the six and a half at, at minus one fifteen here. I'm going under the six and a half. I trust Satterfield. I like Satterfield. I think he's a great coach. Here's my problem: this guy has spent the last at least ten months trying to find another job. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't trust know thing. that that is a good thing. Now, after seeing what has gone on in Louisville, I don't blame him. No, okay? of course. Like they're going under. They're like. Like seventh investigation in four years or something of that nature between all their sports. Um, I I see the reason why he wants to get out, but you're there. Yeah. You did something special year one. He's gonna have to do something real special in year two, and and I I'm taking my chances with him not being just magic. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.